see this uh, Prius. It has an open pilot running on an Eon. Is the name of their device. Um, you can see here, I've got Waze navigating me, which Tesla lacks Waze. Uh, has maps that are so obsolete that you can't hardly get some places. Um, I'm just not available, it's interesting. And if I go to music, it's a little bit sluggish. If I go to music, I have Spotify playing. Again, it's a little, it's a little sluggish. They, they are running this on a cell phone and it's driving me up Interstate 95. Um, you can also see that when I go back here, it is their open pilot app. The green, the yellow bar now signifies the driver awareness. So you can see how long you have before you have to touch it. It's kind of hard to see. It's to the right of the 65. If I move the wheel a little, you'll see it jump back up to green. So I can move anytime. Uh, unlike the Tesla, if I touch the wheel to correct it, it does not disengage. It just resets the counter of awareness. Uh, Spotify integrates great with the Toyota radio. You can see it is steering. Um, you can see my hand. Can't really hold both hands out, but you can see my hands, my feet. Unfortunately, you can't see the floor too dark, but it is steering. We're going up Interstate 95. Of course, this is a straight road here, but it's steering. It's got the line markers showing what it plans on doing overlaid on the image, so you kind of know if it's off. Unlike Tesla, it's showing these lines, and everything's kind of just working perfect. As we go around this little turn, you'll see it turn a little. The Prius does ping pong some. Uh, some of the other Toyotas are a lot better for ping-ponging. Seems to be a little bit of a bug in integrating with a Prius specifically, but but it handles that. Um, I'm going to show you if I said take this exit ramp, what happens. So, you know, at a Tesla, of course, you're going to disengage. So in this, I can turn on my turn signal. There's no lane change. I'll turn on my turn signal. I'll grab my wheel. I'll turn over here some, and I'll just let go of the wheel. I should turn off my turn signal. And oops, I am going to take the exit ramp, just like a Tesla. Um, but you know, I just basically turned, the cruise continued, and it reset my driver awareness number. So, kind of handy that I can just, you know, correct the car if it does something wrong, as you saw with the exit ramp. Nothing disengages. Uh, one thing I don't like is if I hit the gas pedal to speed up, it is going to actually disengage for the gas pedal. That's not, I don't, I don't find that um, a good solution. But, you know, it is beta software, uh, just like auto, open, just like autopilot is. And... And because it is beta software, they do have extra controls to disengage, gas or brake. But um, that's a quick demo of Open Pilot. You can see it's driven fine down the exit ramp. I'm not on it, on the steering wheel any at all. Um, and, you know, I will merge here and integrates with the cruise control stock and everything. You can see it turned around there, kind of got to the right side of the lane, left side. I have not touched the wheel. So I will um, turn on my turn signal. Just That's just driving habits, not that it has to. And it's going to hit its own brakes here, just like Tesla, for the car. It does integrate with the uh, regen braking in the Prius, and I don't know, you probably couldn't hear it. The engine braking uh, happen, which happens with the Toyota Cruise also. And it's going to slowly and gently speed up. I'm not really using much throttle to speed up, but I kind of like how the Tesla speeds up a little faster. But that's a that's a pretty good demo, and the way I can turn to autocorrect, have Spotify, have Waze. Um, sometimes it's kind of a uh, not that desirable to hop back in my P100Z and have a map that's wrong, uh, loading errors on the songs, and a car that jerks all over and disengages if I try to correct it. Hopefully, uh, Elon will pick up an Eon device from Comma AI and maybe try to see where they're ahead and integrate some of these things into the Tesla since their license is that they could use it. Kind of sad that Tesla doesn't.